And now we've taken this metal step from this to this. We got a step that was sitting out in the woods for a long time. It's all rusty and beat up. I don't know how well it'll clean up, but I'd like to clean it up and I'd like to install it on the tractor. And whoops, that's a little too wide. So we've got a few challenges. Let's start by cleaning up and then see if we can install it. Make it easier to get on and off the tractor. Well, you can probably see better here. It's in rough shape. And I don't know if it'll clean up or how well it'll clean up. But I'm going to take these two brackets off because it doesn't fit the way it is. And what my hope is, is that I can move the brackets to the inside. And if I move them to the inside, I think it'll fit on the tractor well enough that I can drill holes through the foot plate and mount them. That came off all right. And what my hope is, is that I can put them on the inside like this. And when I was looking at it, I think that'll work. First of all, let's try to clean this thing up. I got some warm soapy water here and I'm gonna get the grease and dirt and whatever I can get off first. Oh, it's all pitted and everything. Which is alright, it's just a step on a tractor. But we'll clean it up the best we can. And if it won't clean up, I can paint it. I've got it cleaned up the best I could with the soapy water. Got the grease off. Boy, this side's really rusty. And it's all pitted. I'm not expecting like a miracle transformation, but I want to get as much rust off as I can and clean it up. And while I have this, I'm going to throw this in. It's a steering wheel handle. See if I can clean that up. And... The tip of this screwdriver is all rusty. I'll just throw a couple things in there. I got a pan just the right size. And some vinegar. I think it's a couple bucks for this gallon. I'm going to leave it in there four to six hours. There, I'll just do one, the whole thing at once. I'll be back in four to six hours. All right, I think it's been about four or five hours. I didn't really keep track, but I took a wire brush and hit this area here, and it cleans right up. It's not just falling off because of the vinegar, but it doesn't take much to scrub this off. But, I'm going to cheat a little bit and take my drill, got a little wire brush fitting for that. And do that. This is cleaning up good too. That was pretty rusty, so that looks good. And that cleaned right up. Clean it up pretty good. Not bad. So that's pretty good. Considering where I came started from. Ah, the back side doesn't look so good, does it? I don't really care about that. 
It's not going to show, it's just a step for a tractor. But if somebody wanted to work on it, I'm sure you could soak it for a long time. And for the smooth parts, I'm sure the steel wool would really work well. Oh yeah. That cleans it right up. I think that's about as good as it's going to look. All these pitted areas, there's no rust there. But the chrome's gone, so there's nothing I can do about that. But it got the rust off. And clean this up nice. Now I don't want the acid, basically that acid took that off. I don't want that to continue to eat at the metal. So I'm going to go ahead and neutralize that with some baking soda and water. I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a little wax, protect it. And then this steering wheel handle, I'm just going to hit with WD-40. WD-40 displaces water and it lubricates. So that will keep that in nice condition. And now we've taken this metal step from this to this. If this video is a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online. Beautiful.